welcome to Knitting Books Etc. Today is Tuesday and I'm here to do a tag. And the tag is... Mm, I copied the prompts, but I don't have the name of the tag. It's something about with bar and drinks and things like that. And uh, I'll try to remember to put the name of the tag at the bottom in the description box along with the creator of the tag and I was tagged to do this by Ross from Scali Dandling about the books and I am the worst person to do this because I simply don't drink any type of alcoholic drink I, I really don't like even wine I, I, I hate it the flavor so um, but I'm going to do the tag. So the first one says old fashioned historical fiction recommendation. I, in some of these answers, I think I'm going to cheat because uh, my answers are books that I haven't finished. In this case, I started last month to read Wolf Hall by Hilary Mantel. And uh, her, again, I don't have um finished opinion about the book because i just started it and then i decided to pause i was going to participate in the cromwell uh, reading of the cromwell trilogy but because i had so many books uh to finish i want to read it with some um uh, better pace than to rush through it but what I read I enjoyed so um, it's a fictional uh, book story with of course uh, historical characters sidecar book with a strong supporting character so as you all know I, I, I don't have a great memory for books so uh, I'm going to answer with things that I have been reading recently or um, recalled very recently. So in this case, as you know, I finished a book by George Eliot, which was Adam Bede. And this book has several great supporting characters. So uh, from the vicar, Mr. Irwin, the tenants of a farm which are uh, who are the names are Poisers, Mr. and Mrs. Poiser, um, the teacher, school teacher who dislikes women, uh, all those characters are great characters and uh, so it's a book I highly recommend. Manhattan, book set in New York. So, <laughs> because I read mainly classics, and New York, if you think of it, it's a rather recent um, city. So, um, the United States is a fairly new country. And so, I... Of course, I must have read lots of books uh, where the setting is New York. I just couldn't remember. And the last one I can remember is um, this summer I read or I listened to uh, Carola Dunn, Daisy Dal Dalrymple Mysteries. So I listened to the 23 books uh, from 1 to 23 all in I don't know 23 days perhaps I don't know um, and so one of the books it's books book 10 the case of the murdered McCraker is uh, in New York so the action of this story is in New York so there you have it. I I don't remember. I can't. I must have read lots of 
other books, but I don't know. Bloody Mary, a book that scared you, messed you up. So, um, Evelyn was a handful of dust. What happens to the main character of that story is horrifying to me. Uh, I'm, I should have just confirmed that this is an Evelyn War story. I think it is. If it's not, I will correct that. But um, horrifying. Book that kept you reading into the night. So recently in March, I read several mystery novels and mystery novels are novels that normally uh, keep me awake until I finished. And I read uh, two uh, novels by, actually I read four, but two in a series. Uh, by Anthony Horowitz and the first one I think it's Magpie Murders and in for example that was one which I even fought against sleepiness to to stay awake and finish the book so there you have it many mystery stories do that to me mm. Sazerac book that left you disoriented well I don't know if it's disoriented, but with many questions and uh, doubts and wanting to read it again and again and again. And this is the last book I finished. This book, uh, uh, I think that I recently told, talked about it, that I hadn't, I didn't know anything about this author, William Faulkner. I liked it a lot. This is a so clever this book the way it is this is we have the, we have 59 sections at least here in this book i don't have numbers in the chapters and they are all stream of consciousness of several characters some are more important than others some are kind of secondary characters but the way the story is told, so it's like this, but it's, we, I could see very clear the setting, the plot is also very clear, the characters are shown to us in a clear way too. There are lots of doubts that come to my mind while reading this, because this is very, some characters are very philosophical, some are, I would say, strange, I don't understand them very well. Um, um, there are situations here where, for example, uh, normally we see the stream of consciousness of the characters and they talk about what's happening, where they are, but there is a moment where one of the characters suddenly starts talking about things and and I was thinking, but he's not there. How does he know this? So uh, he becomes kind of an omni omniscient narrator. But <coughs> I say I, I must tell you that this is a book that I want to reread, and I have already reread several sections several times. <coughs> so and there are, I guess that there are lots of things that come to my mind while I'm always I've been thinking about this a lot and I love this I don't know if other books by this author are like this but I I, I find that I liked I remember reading Virginia Woolf to the lighthouse and I remember that I like I like to see what's inside the characters minds so confusing at least at first reading and it's one of those it's a short book that you but you can expand you <laughs> you, you could keep talking about it for a very long time that's what i mean so um 
book that is doing too much. So, again, a recent read, as you know, um, I think I jumped. Yes, I jumped over certain, I will, I will, I don't know why. Oh no, no, no. Okay, I'm, I'm right. This book here, they say here, uh, Long Island Ice Tea, book that is doing too much, bonus point if it works anyway. Worked marvelously, but this book is a world. You have philosophy, you have even some, you could say, politics, you have religion, spirituality, you, you see uh, there's sections where we are between monks, there are sections where we are a family relationship, there is a murder, there is a police investigation, there is court scenes, um, there are, I don't know, uh, uh, descriptions about um, some misery, people that live in great difficulties. There are what? Uh, there's everything here, <laughs> I guess. So uh, the 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 book is actually divided in twelve books and an epilogue. And um, I guess that each book, there is love relationships, there is uh, those called love triangles, there, there is everything here. So, and there are also very strange things that uh, I don't quite understand, or at least many of these characters have several passions which um are not easy for me to understand so they are very dramatic and uh but very good book negroni book with a love triangle well here this one could be but i i read recently recently which was last october this book here by Charles Bronte, which was a book that I didn't know and uh, I liked it a lot. Many people dislike the main character, Ch Shirley. Uh, there are actually two female main characters, but uh, Shirley, I liked her a lot. And I, th I learned something interesting that Shirley used to be a man's name and because the main character is a woman and has this name, people then started adopting this name for girls, which is uh, rather interesting. So, um, but there is a love triangle here. Bay Breeze, book with light, chill, heartwarming vibes. So, I'm reading the Chronicles of Varsashire by Anthony Trollope. And I read, I am in the middle of the third book and all these books are very, have very heartwarming vibes for me. So, Dark and Stormy, book that's dark, thrilling and menacing. Bonus point if the setting matches. So, here I'm going to cheat again because this is a book that... When I was very young, I, I think that I tried to read several times and I haven't uh, completed my reading, but I'm going to read it this year, part of my Bronte project, and that is Woodring Heights by Emily Bronte. And as far as I know, or as far as, as, far as I remember the little bits that I read, um, the whole book is very dark and the setting is also dark and stormy. Mm. And Martini, classic recommendation. So I have been reading and am still reading The Divine Comedy by Dante. And I 
feel a little bit sorry that I haven't read it before. So I highly recommend uh, reading the Divine Comedy. And this is the end of the tag. Oh, I should have... Oh, I always forget to think about... I don't know who has done this or not. I'm going to tag... Who am I going to tag? I'm going, I'm going to check here. I will stop. I'll check my my subscriptions in booktube and then i'll be back in a minute so so i'm going to tag brian at bookish and kelly at books i'm not reading uh i don't know if they have answered this but uh i tried to search for the tag in their videos and i couldn't find it so maybe they haven't and uh, that's all for today. See you.